Still no decision, but discussion during uh, the, among the justices during Tuesday's oral arguments on the Biden administration's student loan forgiveness plan. Uh, it seems to indicate that the court is leaning against it. Yeah, Chief Justice John Roberts led his conservative colleagues in questioning the administration's authority to broadly cancel federal student loans because of the COVID-19 emergency. The administration's top Supreme Court lawyer arguing, however, without the relief, quote, delinquencies and defaults will surge. Now, so far, the plan has been blocked by Republican appointed judges in the lower courts. And this $400 billion loan relief plan was introduced last year, of course, due to the economic challenges presented by the pandemic. And News 19's Crystal Flintrup joins us now after speaking with some folks around the area today. So, Crystal, what are people locally saying about this plan? I have to say, Dustin, an overwhelming amount of people I spoke with actually didn't know much about this plan. The proposed relief plan would forgive up to $20,000 for Pell Grant recipients with an annual income below $125,000. Those who didn't receive the Pell Grant and meet that income threshold would be eligible for up to $10,000 of relief. One University of Wisconsin lacrosse student I spoke with says he supports the plan but has some concerns. It's super complicated. Now they'd have to figure out something to make, you know, a compromise happen. 10 or 20K sounds great, but also like that means taxes for everybody goes up. And if that's that case, like not everybody goes to college. More than tw 26 million people applied for Biden's debt relief program, program within the first month of the application being open. And overall, Dustin, more than 40 million borrowers would qualify for loan forgiveness. Of course, all hinging on the Supreme Court decision. Thank you, Crystal. Currently, student loan repayments have been on pause since the beginning of the pandemic three years ago. Payments are set to resume at the end of August or once litigation has been resolved, depending on which comes first.